Hey everybody, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. A shout out to drone enthusiasts everywhere. And as always, a shout out to my friends at the Drone Seekers. Hey, so today was my first day at CES in Las Vegas, the Consumer Electronics Show. And uh, this was a media day only. The general show is not open up to, uh, to opened to regular attendees. And thanks to you folks, I was able to get a credential as a social media influencer with the Idaho Quadcopter YouTube channel that allowed me to go to these uh, to, to see what the media sees. And I attended uh, one conference today. Uh, I, mostly I just wanted to get the lay of the land and see what it was. Uh, but the one that most related to what we're talking about with drones uh, was put on by Deloitte, who uh, they are an automotive reporting uh, media company. Uh, but the title of the uh, conference today was Ground or Aerial, Which Will Win Autonomy? Well, that piqued my interest in that, obviously, we're interested in aerial, right? And it's not a stretch. Uh, we all see on Karen Ken Heron's show, Would You Ride It?, where somebody gets in a quadcopter looking creation and takes off and flies around in it. So we know that that's at least on the horizon and a coming thing. And, you know, they're part of the new FAA pro proposal, rules proposal, is that they're looking to be able to control the airways for everybody to know where everything else is at. And this was pretty enlightening in that they went into uh, great detail about that. So just to kind of tell you who the presenters were, uh, Eric Allison from Uber was one of the percent presenters. Uh, and of course, we all know what Uber's interest is. They want to be able to move people around as efficiently and as quickly as they can. And obviously at, at, at less cost. Interestingly enough, he said that they he, they feel like the, the first uh, ducted, quadcopter, flying cars, so to speak, uh, will be piloted. They won't be autonomous, but their hope is to eventually get to full autonomy. Uh, then a gentleman by the name of Scott Drennan, I'm using my phone here to remember all these names, from uh, Bell, formerly known as Bell Helicopter. Uh, and obviously their interest is in creating those ducted, fan ducted vehicles that are going to take you to, from point A to point B and how that whole transportation infrastructure is going to get put together. What was interesting, one of the first things he said is he said, you notice that I didn't say Bell Helicopter. He said, uh, we're, we changed our name just to Bell now because we are want to be known for more than helicopters. They're looking into these uh, semi-automated or automated uh, ducted quadcopters, if you will. So I don't know if they're quads, but however many fans they'll happen to have uh, to get into the air. So not only that, they are also hard at work building software to automate that whole process. Because if you've got a bunch of these things running around in an urban area, obviously it's going to take some software to figure out where everybody's at and how to connect everything together in such a way uh, that there, we don't interfere with each other. Uh, so that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea as to why the FAA is talking about some of the regulations that they are. Uh, but let me go through all the guests here. They also had uh, a fellow by the name of Hassan Ikrata, who is the San Diego Association of Governments. And his position and what he had to offer was he manages for that whole greater San Diego area transportation. So he's trying to figure out how to integrate all the newest and latest transportation, whether that be ground or air or whatever, to make it all work together to make it easier for people to get around. And uh, they are very appear to be very forward thinking and are looking at Ariel as a part of a way to make that happen. Uh, and then also from uh, NASA, Paramel Koperdeka, I hope I hope Koperdekar, I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, Paramal Koperdekar. Anyway, he's with NASA, 
And he was talking about uh, how the research that NASA has put into, obviously anything that flies, that NASA's interested in it, and how to make that happen as well. So uh, that's what he his uh, partip- participation was in it. And uh, he spoke about the kind of advanced transportation that NASA would like to be a part of. Uh, and then a fellow by the name of Russell Laughlin, and he was from a company called Hillwood. And if I understood that correctly, they're developers. So they're developing planned communities, et cetera. So obviously they're interested in transportation and how all of that is going to happen. Uh, and then also uh, a gentleman by the name of uh, Robin Leinberger, and he is with Deloitte, and he was kind of moderating the uh, the whole thing. But then last but not least... Uh, Jody McCarthy from the Federal Aviation Administration uh, was there, and she talked about what the FAA's perspective is. And obviously, their their biggest thing is safety, right? If we're going to have flying cars over the top of our heads, they want to make sure that they're not falling on somebody's house, etc. And the fact that you know there's all these things that are going to be uh, above us and how we keep them, obviously from colliding each other and interfering with each other. And there's a lot of automation that goes with that. So not only are they talking about, they didn't, they talked not only about the transportation, about you or I getting in a, an air vehicle to move from point A to point B, uh, but also delivering goods and services. So they're saying that if by 2050, 70% of the Earth's population is living in urban areas, you've got to get everything into that area for them to live. Everybody needs food. Everybody needs, uh, uh, you know, all the things that you need to live. Food, water, everything, you know, furniture, all the goods and services that you need to live a life. And how to get that in those urban areas efficiently And, you know, currently we're trying to do it all on highways and byways. And as we all know, it's not working. There's uh, traffic jam ups everywhere. You look in cities like I can speak to Seattle, for instance, because I used to live there. Uh, It's almost impossible to get around Seattle on any business day now because every freeway, every highway is is jammed up. So uh, the air is a good way to take some of that congestion off the highways. Autonomy is another way to do it. Uh, by, uh, you know, obviously being able to carry more cargo, etc., and do it more efficiently. So that was about it. Now, you know, how does that affect us as drone hobbyists? Well, obviously it does in the fact that we are flying around in that same airspace. And so I guess I can understand why they want to know where we're at and, and what we're doing. Uh, and I think it can be managed. Uh, they even talked about... Uh, you know, everybody, everybody's concern for privacy. And I was gratified to hear Jody uh, from the FAA say that that is a concern of theirs. So I think that's something that we can all consult with the FAA on the new rules uh, is, you know, privacy concerns we should make front and center. Uh, so anyway, that's about it. Uh, it CES is just amazing uh, what... You know, like I said, today, I just kind of wanted to get the lay of the land and and see it all. It is huge. I was just in one hall, and in that hall, uh, it it was gigantic. It went block after block after block, and there were an uncountable amount of conference rooms, and there were things going on everywhere. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's going to be fascinating. It's going to be a great uh, couple of days. And I look forward tomorrow getting out to uh, the, the, the thing going full on and seeing what's going on uh, with, uh, I'm going to check out the GGI booth and hopefully the Autel booth. Uh, Swell Pro is going to be there as well and some of the other ancillary uh, places that, uh, companies that uh, have, uh, are, you know, interest in, in uh, quadcopters and, and hobby drones, obviously is what we're primarily interested in. So we'll get to take a look at those, but there's a million other things to uh, to look at. So uh, I'll probably be reporting on uh, some things other than drone related, but uh, 
Anyway, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel, out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And we will see you on the next one.